Is it happiness or misery to come home every day and see your wife pretending to be dead? Jun is an employee in Japan who has to go to work every day on time. His seemingly regular life hides his anxiety. This is the third year of his marriage to his wife Chia. He and his ex-wife divorced on their third anniversary. This made him deeply afraid of the three-year itch. One day Jun came home and knocked on the door, but no one answered and it just stood in front of the house. He was hesitant and afraid that Chia would leave him like his ex-wife did, but he finally took the key out of his pocket and opened the door. The house was silent. He looked into the living room and almost choked in fear. His wife was spitting blood and lying on the floor. He crawled to her, screaming at the top of his lungs. Jun turned to his cell phone and called for emergency services. Suddenly his wife came to life and grabbed his feet. He was so shocked that he fainted. It turned out that it was just a prank by his wife. Jun was in tears in the face of his wife, who was laughing wildly. This is the wife he chose, and it can only spoil her. The next day at work, his colleague Sano couldn't stop laughing after hearing his story. In fact, the image of his wife's death is very frightening. But such a wife is also quite funny. Chia has been pretending to be dead every day since then when her husband leaves work. Sometimes she was swallowed by a crocodile. She was stabbed to death after being involved in a dispute. Sometimes she died in a glorious battle. Sometimes she was shot through the head by an arrow. Jun's attitude went from panic at first to habit. He even played along with his wife, but he couldn't understand why his wife was so keen to pretend to be dead. Did she have something to say? Did she not want to live with him anymore? The other day, he was talking at work and recalled his first meeting with Chia. He had run into Chia standing on the side of the road because it was in a hurry. Chia laughed at Chun, who was crying because he missed the bus. At that moment, all the gloom in Chun's emotions seemed to be lifted. The sun shone into Chun's heart. He smiled like a child who had been given candy. Sano looked at Chun, who was caught in a happy memory, and suggested that they ask their wives to join them for dinner. At the dinner, Chia liked Sano's wife, Yumiko, very much. They talked about the funny story when they were in love. Chia ran away alone with the vendor because she was greedy for food. When Jun found her, she just smiled and shared half of the cake with Jun. Chia thought it was possible for a couple to split the cookies in half. Jun looked at her and pondered. At that time, he was just happy to have found Chia, but he didn't know what Chia was thinking. When he asked Chia about it, Chia just replied, If you're looking, you find me. Chia's game of playing dead continued, and Jun was tired of it. He found a part-time job for Chia and tried to keep Chia busy. He even told Chia very bluntly, I'm tired of you playing dead. Chia started working at the dry cleaners and stopped playing dead. Just when Jun thought he was finally done with the torture, his wife started to pretend to be a ghost and Ultraman every day. Jun was so frightened by Ultraman that he didn't know what to do. He just wanted a normal wife, not a wife who was so interesting. That day after work Chia and Yumiko went to play ball together. Yumiko told Chia about her inability to have children. She looked sad and confused. Yumiko was worried about not having children. She is also worried about her marriage with Sano. Sano also finds out that his marriage with Yumiko is in crisis. He never seemed to understand Yumiko. He didn't know that Yumiko liked crocodiles or that she was good at karate. When they were guests at Jun's house, he saw Yumiko's excitement around the crocodile doll and felt like his marriage was a joke. One day Jun came home and saw Chia as a future person. He played along with his wife and asked her about the world of the future. When he asks, will Chia and I still be together in 50 years? Chia calculates for him how long he and his wife will be together for the rest of their lives. Jun hesitantly asks her, how do you feel about me? Chia just looked out the window and slowly said, the moon is so beautiful tonight. Jun lowered his head and wondered if his wife was running away or if she didn't like him anymore. He missed his wife's apprehensive expression due to his loss. Sano and Yumiko finally got divorced. Jun was also nervous at this time. Sometimes he felt that he was ready for the divorce. At other times, he felt that he could not accept the divorce. But Chia's father was hospitalized at that moment. Chia and Jun rushed back to her hometown when they learned the news. His father-in-law looked at Jun in his hospital bed and told him stories of the past. Chia was only five years old when her mother passed away. He was too busy to eat when he left early and came home late every day. But when he arrived home at night and saw his sleeping daughter, he missed his late wife so much that he cried. Then little Chia and he play hide and seek. She tried everything to make her father happy. He hopes that no matter what happens Chia and Jun will be able to hold on together. At night in the old house, Jun picked up a book and flipped through it. Then he saw the words, the moon is beautiful tonight. It was translated by writer Natsum Sasaki as, I love you. 
It was then that Chun realized what his wife meant. Chia had always understood his cautiousness. Chia had always been there for him in her own way. The next day, he took Chia to the place where he proposed. He expresses his love for Chia for the first time by saying, I'll die is translated from Russian by Futurbite Shima. This is the end of the film. Husbands and wives should treat each other as equals in marriage. It doesn't matter who loves more and who loves less, but only the way of companionship is different. Couples don't need to try hard to be close to each other. When they are happy, they enjoy together. When they encounter difficulties, they both walk together. This is how couples get along. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. See you next time.